morning friends let's read our bible today friends in the book of Ezekiel, chapter 8 idolatry in the temple in the sixth year in the sixth month on the fifth day while i was sitting in my house and the elders too that were sitting before me the hand of the sovereign lord came upon me there i looked and i saw a figure like that of a man from what appeared to be his waist down, he was like fire, and from there up his appearance was as bright as glowing metal. He stretched out what looked like a hand and took me by the hair of my head. The Spirit lifted me up between earth and heavens, and in visions of God, he took me to Jerusalem, to the entrance to the north gate of the inner court, where the idol that provokes the jealousy stood. And there before me was the glory of God of Israel, as in the vision I have seen in the plain. Then he said to me, Son of man, look toward the north. So I looked, and in the entrance north of the gate of the altar, excuse me, <clears throat> I saw this idol of jealousy. And he said to me, Son of man, do you see what they are doing? The utterly detestable things the house of Israel is doing here. Things that will drive me far from my sanctuary. But you will see things that are even more detestable. Then he brought me to the entrance to the court. I looked, and I saw a hole in the wall. He said to me, Son of man, now dig into the wall. So I dug into the wall and saw a doorway there. And he said to me, Go and go in and see the wicked and this detestable things they are doing here. So I went in and looked, and I saw a portrait all over the walls, all kinds of crawling things and detestable animals and all the idols of the house of Israel. In front of, the stu of them stood seventy elders of the house of Israel, and Jaazaniah, Je son of Shaphan, was standing among them. Each had a censer in his hand, and a fragrant cloud of incense was rising. He said to me, Son of man, have you seen what the elders of the house of Israel are doing in the darkness? Each at the shrine of his own idol, they say. The Lord does not see us. The Lord has forsaken the land. Again he said, You will see them doing things that are even more detestable. Then he brought me to the entrance to the north gate of the house of the Lord. And I saw women sitting there mourning for Thomas. He said to me, Do you see this son of man? You will see things that are even more detestable than this. He then brought me into the inner court of the house of the Lord. And there at the entrance of the, to the temple between the portico and the altar were about twenty-five men with their backs toward the temple of the Lord and their faces toward the east. They were bowing down to the sun in the east. He said to me, Have you seen this, son of man? Is it a trivial matter for the house of Judah to do the detestable things they are doing here? Must they also fill the land with violence and continually provoke me to anger? Look at them, putting the branch to their nose. Their Therefore I will deal with them in anger. I will not look on them with pity or spare them. Although they shout in my ears, I will not listen to them. So here guys, um, Ezekiel had a personal encounter with the Lord. He saw the Lord, the God in heaven. Um, the God was a, a, a very um, wonderful um, appearance, like uh, glowing metal or... In, and he was lifted by the Spirit of the Lord, and the Lord brought him to Jerusalem. And he showed Ezekiel that people are worshipping other gods rather than the Lord in heaven. So the Lord was very angry to them. And well, going to punish them according to what they have done, because they forgot the Lord and worship um, animals or any kind of things that are not the God of the, the not the Lord in heaven they are worshiping so for us guys it's a question we really need to really um worship the Lord only so that the Lord will not get angry to us um give that give that give our time to the Lord rather than any other things which are materials or any kind of things in this world um we need to give time to the Lord so that the Lord will not be angry to us and also we need only to worship the Lord in heaven, the God in heaven, the Lord God in heaven and His Son, Jesus Christ. So enjoy your journey with the Lord. Avoid worshipping other gods rather, rather than the Lord. So um, 
stay faithful to your faith in the Lord and do not do not really worship other gods rather than our Lord Jesus Christ and his Father God in heaven. Take care and good morning.